Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be about painting this um, iris using watercolour paints. In particular, I want to show you the how the Schmincke watercolours behave because I have already made some illustrations for myself and um, I just want you to see in real time or um, in, in reality how they work. So this is the palette I will be using, my 24 half pan palette and what I have done so far is just um, looked at some irises and taken some shapes and um, looked at the structure of the petals and how they curl and sort of try to come up with a not exact not a botanical illustration but a sort of more loose illustration and um, then I uh, so to do that first I have used my mechanical pencil in 03 the Mozart supplies pencil I use I have mentioned them before I have ordered a pack of five I think they come in different sizes here we go and then I have gone over with my Micron Zero Two um, to correct the lines and create lines that I wanted. Here we go. There it is. And then I have just um, obviously gone ahead and erased the pencil with this eraser which has become my favorite eraser is the Faber Castell dust free um, it's really great for um, erasing in watercolor paint it doesn't damage the watercolor paint I find so that's that and I will now go ahead and use the watercolors and just put some music for you to enjoy it so thanks for watching see you soon Hi 
everyone, I noticed that the uh, memory card got full and it the video stopped at some point. I'm not sure exactly at which point, but I think I managed to record most of this illustration. So I have gone ahead and um, done some finishing touches and um, this illustration was for me to just learn the names of certain parts of the iris and kind of have sort of like a gardening um, knowledge about the iris, I guess. And the other purpose was to play around with the purples because in the previous video where I um, um, reviewed the Schminke palette, I have told you that violet was my least favorite color and that is this one right here you can't see much in the palette the other thing to say about them is that they when you um, mix them over here they dry really fast compared to some of my other um, watercolors which is a good thing because by the time you kind of if you for example painting outside somewhere by the time you start to pack up they will be dried in, in in a couple of minutes so that's a very good thing so it means you can close them quickly um, now the thing to say here is that oh let me show you again on the swatches so that's the violet um, that I don't like and you can see maybe and understand why I don't like it it has um, some granulation going on which doesn't happen in any of the other colors and also it's very the color isn't very, mm, I should say, pigmented. It's not a vibrant color compared to their other colors. And so here, as a comparison, I have um, swatched the violet and I have created two of my other purples, which I really like, and I have used them in this illustration. So basically, I have attempted to use the violet and see how it works. As a wash, very light wash, it is actually okay. So I have used it here. That's the wash. So there isn't any granulation in the wash. Um, and it seems to be only granulating when you try to use less water and more of the pigment. So I avoided using it that way and to Plus, it's also, like I said, it's not buildable, so you there's a limitation to the vibrancy of the color you can get, which, you know, is, is not enough for, for what I wanted to do. So, to create more intense and darker violets, or purples, I have basically mixed magenta and indigo to create this sort of greyish, dark, um, toned purple. And then over here we have magenta and ultramarine, which have created a similar color to violet, but a more intense and more vibrant color, which you can completely build to a vibrancy, um, to the required vibrancy, or you can leave it as a wash, as I said before as well. Schminke are great for having very pale tones and watering them down. Um, so if we just have a quick look at magenta is a single is a single pigment PV42 and indigo is a mixed pigment of PB15 and one and PB66 and then the other mix I have done is magenta again and ultramarine this time which is also a single pigment PB29 and the violet that comes in the um, palette is also single pigment PV16 so basically um, that is great but um, one thing to mention is indigo has only two stars in light fastening which means it's it would um, fade the illustration and the color would fade with time if you chose to display this one so be very careful but 
if you mix these two, for example, magenta and ultramarine, you should be okay because both of them have good uh, light fastening. So this one is four and magenta is three. So it's not very high, but it's better than two. So that's all to say about that. And yeah, I have um, enjoyed using um, the watercolors and I will do a flip through um, at some point when I finish this sketchbook. So um, the yellow that I have used is cadmium yellow hue and Indian yellow. Just um, a single, uh, a separate watercolors, just kind of applying them there. Um, on the beard as it's called and then for the green I think I have used a number of things here actually I have used um, olive green yellowish and mixed it I think with a couple other colors which I can't remember right now but that's it really um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon for another illustration